Have you ever wanted to practice motion tracking and virtual environment creation with high quality, ready to use materials? We've got you covered. In this project, we've created five detailed environments from a spacecraft setting in order to create a sci-fi short movie in Blender, the cryogenic chamber where the astronaut awakens. The corridor featuring a monitoring screen. The control room with a breathtaking view of the galaxy. The hangar, housing drones, and equipment. The observation room, offering a spectacular view of space. This project is ideal for filmmakers, VFX artists, and Blender enthusiasts who want high quality materials to practice and refine their skills. For each environment, we've prepared everything you need chroma key video footage, and pre-built Blender scenes. These materials are available in different download options. You'll find the links for each set in the video description below. For each environment, you'll get the original chroma key video footage, perfect for those who want to start from scratch by keying the footage themselves in After Effects or similar software. Pre-keyed videos ready to use directly in Blender. The Blender scene files, which can serve as starting points for your creations. Now I'll guide you through how to use the downloadable materials we've prepared to practice key techniques in Blender and Chroma Key Compositing. These materials include everything you need to recreate cinematic scenes, from the original Chroma Key footage to pre-keyed videos motion tracking setups, and 3D environments. Please note, this video does not cover the step-by-step -step process of these techniques. For detailed tutorials on motion tracking, chroma keying, and virtual scene creation, check out the links in the description to our other videos. First, among the materials provided for each set, you'll find the original four K chroma key footage. If you want to start from scratch, you can use this video to practice keying in software like After Effects. To do this, import the footage into After Effects and apply the key light filter to remove the green screen. Then create a mask around the subject to isolate it. Apply the key cleaner to refine the alpha channel, and finally, use the advanced spill suppressor to eliminate any green spill. Now, instead of exporting a single video with an alpha channel, which would result in a very large file, we've provided two separate videos, one containing the footage with the advanced spill suppressor applied, and another containing just the alpha channel. This approach keeps file size is manageable while allowing you to recreate the transparent video directly in Blender. I'll show you how to do this later in the video. For those who prefer to skip the keying process, we've included the video with the spill suppressor filter already applied and its corresponding alpha channel ready to use in Blender. Additionally, for motion tracking, We've prepared a high-contrast HD version of the footage, optimized specifically for tracking markers. Indeed, motion tracking relies on clear contrast to identify markers, making this version particularly effective. Therefore, it can often be a good idea to export an optimized version of the high-contrast video just for motion tracking. Let's move on to Blender. Start by importing the optimized footage into the motion tracking panel.
This video is marked as motion tracking in the video folder. Here, you'll track at least 11 markers to ensure accurate results. Then solve the scene to extract the virtual camera motion and create a basic 3D setup. If you're unfamiliar with motion tracking, I've detailed the process step by step in other videos linked in the description. However, for convenience, we've also included the Blender file with the motion tracking already completed for this set. So you can use this Blender file if you want to skip the motion tracking step. Next, build the 3D environment. Each set includes a fully realized blender scene matching the lighting of the original chroma key setup. Once the 3D environment is ready, import the footage marked as Spill Suppressor into Blender. To do that, add an image plane object, select the video, and uncheck the alpha option. Use the shading panel to combine the video with its alpha channel. Duplicate the video node and load the alpha channel video. Remember to set the total frames as in the original node. Now connect its output to the alpha input of the principled shader. This setup recreates the transparent video. Now you have the option to connect the video also to the emission input of the principled shader. This way, the video is less affected by the lights in the 3D scene and retains more of its original color. Now position the video in the 3D scene. Attach the image plane to the virtual camera by copying its position and rotation. Select the video, then the camera, and press the Control C buttons. In order to do that, you have to enable the Copy Attributes add on in Blender. Then parent the plane to the camera. Now switch to Edit Mode to adjust the video's placement along the camera's local Z-axis, ensuring it fills the frame. Then go back to the object mode. Now you have to scale the video in order to correctly place it in the 3D scene. So, move to the first frame and scale the video so that it matches the correct position in the 3D space. To maintain the correct placement throughout the timeline, animate the scale of the video plane as needed. Again, we have explained these steps in detail in other videos. Finally, render the scene. This workflow applies to all the sets included in the package, which feature a variety of environments. The cryogenic chamber, the corridor with a monitor, the control room with a galaxy view, the hangar, and the observation deck. Whether you're a beginner looking to learn the basics or an experienced user refining your skills, these materials are designed to help you master motion tracking environment design, and compositing.